In 1971, the U.S. Department of Labor started the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, better known as OSHA. OSHA was established to ensure that all American workers remain safe and healthy by setting and enforcing standards that encourage continuous improvement in workplace safety and health. OSHA's training and safety standards are in place to give you the information necessary to stay safe at work and if followed, will provide you with an environment where you can safely do your job. Throughout this training session, you'll be introduced to the OSHA standard 1910.1200, the hazard communication standard. The hazard communication standard covers all physical forms of chemicals such as liquids, solids, gases, vapors, fumes, and mists that may be present in the workplace. This also includes chemical exposure that is generated as a result of the activities in various work environments. For example, welding fumes, dust, and exhaust fumes. Every year, OSHA compiles a list of its top 10 violations, and each and every year, hazard communication finds its way onto the list with more than 5,000 violations a year. These violations are due to two main factors. For one, most workplaces contain hazardous materials of some kind. Even something as simple as cleaning fluids are considered hazardous. And two, the main reason for the hazard communication standard being cited so frequently is because a large number of people do not follow the proper labeling, handling, and storing procedures for substances present in their workplace. In this presentation, we'll be discussing what you need to know about proper hazard communication, why you need to know it, and most of all, how to find the information that you have the right to know about working around hazardous materials. Both OSHA and your employer want you to be familiar with this standard so that you can properly follow policy and procedure when working around the potential hazards that come with these materials. The OSHA standard for hazard communication, sometimes referred to as HAZCOM, is based on a simple concept. Employees have both a need and a right to know the hazards of chemicals they are exposed to when working. According to OSHA, there are an estimated 650,000 existing hazardous chemical products with hundreds of new ones being introduced every year. Even if you don't use the chemicals yourself, you're required to know about them if they're present in your work area. You also need to know the protective measures available to prevent adverse effects from occurring.